funny that I'm using my phone in the middle of East Africa trying to navigate around. I think it's incredible. Woo so much fun. Okay, we're getting closer. We have to be much closer now. There's a couple of Thompson's Gazelle around here too. Oh, is it this one? I don't know now. Maybe. I remember I was a little bit away from it when I put the put. What have we got? Oh, there it is! Davi, you are a genius, and they're here. The little ones are out. Woo! I'm so excited, I'm so excited. Sorry, everyone, I just, I have not been at a jackal den for such a long time. The last time I found one was in the Eastern Cape with blackback jackal. Oh, they're so cute. But I'm gonna position myself nicely so you can see them. Hello, little ones. It's okay. Don't be afraid of us. Now, I'm gonna try and talk as soft as I can, which is not very soft, because they are little. Hello. Look how small they are. Now, the other night we saw, I think it was three or four little ones bounding around. They were very active. Yeah, they do look like side-striped jackals. This a little bit more mottled in color as well, quite gray. But I could... Oh, big yawn from you. Now, they're, they're quite young. Now, I'm not so sure. Okay, we'll, 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 we'll just keep them as jackal. No, no, it's a black-backed jackal. There's an adult. Sorry, Darby, that's just, just caught my attention. There's a pole. Okay, so they're not side-striped. They're very mottled in colour. It must be, of course, the black backed jackal. And you can see there's the little entrance to their den, and that's where they live inside. Now, I don't think that they're very old. I think that they're about three weeks old. About nine, not three weeks, three months. About nine weeks old or so. This is so precious. Look at it. It hasn't even grown into its ears just yet. Now, I don't know how much research they have done on jackals and their dens. I definitely haven't heard of any jackals being collared, seeing as though we've been chatting about collaring animals. But um, it would be quite interesting. I'd be quite interested to know how big their territories are because they move around quite a bit, these these animals. Now, I'm just checking to see. I don't want to make mom or dad too worried about us. Hello. Let me reposition quickly because I think there's some more actually on the other side. Let's have a little look. These animals will get you quite used to the vehicles fairly quickly. It's very much open out here. So they don't have to worry about anything sneaking up on them. The grass is a little bit long. So I'm just going to go around because I want to see how many there are. <laughs> now, Stephen, you said that these jackals look like your coyotes that you have in America. Ah, I I suppose they're quite similar. They remind me more of foxes though, a combination between a fox and a coyote. I thought I'd seen another one run in here. But actually this is quite a nice area because I'm, I'm just looking at the the net, the tunnels. Let me go back one more a little bit. There's actually lots and lots of little entrances here. Well, I wonder where the others are. They must be a little bit on the chilly side and still inside the den. But They've got very powerful claws, so they can dig really, really well. And this little one looks quite tired and a little bit damp. Uh, it's been sort of raining on and off right through the night. Where is your siblings? Isn't that absolutely precious? Oh, a little stretch and a little ear shake. Now, <clears throat> hopefully we'll be able to spend a bit more time with these jackals as we sort of go about in the Mara. Maybe we can even watch them grow. So when I, I know when I'm in the area, and I'm sure the uh, James and Scott and Brent and Jamie, when they get back, would love to come and see them. So hopefully over the next few months, we'll be able to watch these young pups grow. But I think it's time for you to go back to bed. You look exhausted. You don't look like you should be out here at the moment. Now, I actually wanted to just quickly see how old they are when they get weaned. So I might have a little look in my book to see that. But we're gonna stick here for a little bit longer and see what they get up to. We're gonna go across to James now. Apparently, he's got a very important and a well-known character of the Mara Triangle.